Well, that's our daughter Heidi standing over there, pouring hot coffee and twirling her hair. She just working through the summer. She's getting out of here. At least that's what she's been saying for the last three years. Y'all come on in. Stay wherever you want. Well, every winter we attend a small group Bible study in our little neighborhood and our neighbors, Richard and Laura Valdez, usually host it at their house. And what we're featuring today is oatmeal cake. And it's a very delicious, scrumptious, mm -hmm, it hearty is. wintertime cake. I love, I love oatmeal. I eat oatmeal all winter here. You I do? really, yeah. I have pancakes in the summer, oatmeal in the winter. Well, oatmeal, I'll... I add a little bit to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. She's outside peanut butter cookies to it. Yeah. But that's beside the point. But let's go ahead and get started with okay. this recipe. It's really easy. It's so simple. Roy loves this because it has a little broiled topping mm -hmm. crumb on top, and he just loves it. It has a little crunch to mm -hmm. the top, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so what we have in here is we have our flour, our sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, salt, and a little bit of cinnamon. Yep, there might be something else in there. You can go to our website and get the exact measurements on everything. Um, so we mix the dry ingredients. Marcia's going to go ahead and top in a couple eggs there. The first thing you're gonna do though before you get those going is you're gonna heat some water, like one and one third cups of water, and add that to a stick of butter and some oats. And you're gonna let those kind of soften yeah. and then melt the butter down with the hot water and then your oats are gonna thicken like this. So then once you have your oats all thickened, you've got all this started here, you're gonna add your oats to your ingredients here. And actually, I like to consider this recipe kind of lower fat, kind of. Really? Well, I like to, because of the oats. Okay. Got fiber. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. a little I bit would butter, love that. no oil. <laughs> I like to justify things, okay? We're at Bible study, so, you know, we're just eating away, but it's really it good. It is, it's, it's really good. Then you're gonna heat your oven to 350, and you're gonna bake it in a spray nine by 13 pan here for about 35 minutes. And once you bake it, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have a nice brown consistency. That looks good. And you're gonna smell, this is gonna fill your kitchen. I can already smell it, with just, yeah. Gorgeous smells, it's so nice. Okay, and now the crumb topping is the key here. This is where the magic takes place. So the crumb topping, we've added a stick of butter and some, we've actually added some coconut in here, which I love coconut. I know you're not a coconut fan, mm -mm. but I love it. Brown sugar, some coconut, and some butter. And it's gonna be kind of crumbly like this. If you want it more crumbly, just don't cut the butter in as much. But then, I like to use my hands. This is probably against all rules on cooking shows, but That's okay. this is our cooking show. I can actually eat that by myself without the coconut. <laughs> I <bet> you could. <laughs> <laughs> and then you <clears throat> just place this on top. You can't really pour it because all the butter is clumped together. And I just place it on top. After you do that with the entire pan, uh, you're gonna put it under the broiler. So this is the baked one. Mm. Then you're gonna broil it under the oven and you're gonna get it nice and crunchy. Doesn't that look beautiful? You see how the coconut, it almost is like a little brown. I didn't know you added a uh, coconut. Surprise! Oh. See, she loves it and she doesn't I even do. know she loves yeah, it. yeah, that's beautiful. So that is the oatmeal cake. Now we've got some friends here who are locals. Now, I don't know them real well, but we're gonna invite them on up here. Come on over here, Heidi and Amelia. Hi. How are y'all doing? Great, how are you? And is this your daughter, Amelia? This is my daughter, Amelia. Okay, come on in here, Amelia, a little bit closer, hon. <clears throat> I love your top, it's so cute. And y'all live here in Columbia, is we that do. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. And have you visited Marcy Joe's before? Yes, I have. Several times. Is there oh. a dish you like here that you just Stuffed love? Stuffed French toast. Stuffed yeah. French toast. Stuffed French toast. It's really good. <clears throat> what about you, Amelia? Do you like to eat here? I've never been here. Oh, oh you well, haven't? Good. Well, this oh, is going to be a treat for well, you. Good. Then. Good. Then you can taste this if you want, or you can have your mama taste yeah. it. Either way, I think you guys just might like this. When it comes out, so look how dense that is. It looks really oh. good. There you go. Try that and see yeah. what you think. You can see. And then uh, Amelia can try it too back at the table. She mm -hmm. likes it. Isn't that good? You like that? Good. With that crunch mm -hmm. on you go, top. Hun, you can yeah. have your own fork. You can try taste that bit. back home. You'll like it. Oh. <laughs> Thanks you guys so it. much for coming <laughs> in. Do you like that? 
Yeah. Oh, good, good. good. Even a child will like it. <laughs> Oats and Thank coconut you. and goodness. You can't go wrong. It smells really good. Oh, it's delicious. I'm ready to dive into this. I know. Too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. That's our oatmeal cake right here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives. One bite at a time. Mm -hmm.